Okay, so here we're actually going to use a couple different uh, things. They were my friend brought me this piece here. Uh, it's off his stove. It's a uh, casing for a rocker switch, uh, but it broke obviously, uh, and it's discontinued. So he can't get another one. So I'm going to show you a practical way to um, recreate a part. Uh, and we're going to try a new method where we're not using silicone resin. We're actually going to use gelatin to make a mold. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is reassemble this. We're just going to put a couple dabs just to hold it in place. As long as I get it right. Okay. So we got that. I'm just going to move that off to the side. And what we need to do is make a mold for our, uh, for our part. So I've just cut the top off of a paper cup here. I'm gonna take some packing tape. And you've seen me do this before, so I'm gonna just speed right through this. extra generous with it. So what the recipe calls for is six ounces of glycerin. So I marked off my cup. Two ounces of gelatin. A quarter cup of cold water. And a quarter cup of hot water, which I have just off screen here. Uh, on a heating element. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to pour in our glycerin. We're going to take all four packs and we're going to dump them on in. This is two ounces of gelatin. Or 28 grams. Recap, we have six ounces of vegetable glycerin. We have two ounces of gelatin. And we're gonna give that a stir. Try to get it all blended in. This will be a very thick mixture right now because vegetable glycerin is not thin. And then adding in the, oh, looks like, I got something on the side there. Okay, now that we've got that, we're gonna put in a quarter cup of cold water. Incorporate that. And now we're gonna take our hot water and we're going to mix it on in. Make sure this is well mixed. No lumps or anything like that. So I'm afraid of the uh, mold or the uh, mold dam not holding. I am going to do it inside my vacuum chamber. Pop that down there. And we're just going to pull it, pour it on in. Don't see any leaks so that's a good thing um, but we're gonna let this set up and then uh, we'll come back and take a look at it so this has had time to uh, set up it 
feels decent. Actually, we're gonna test out first. So I put them into cups. So let's just see if I can get that out of there. See how that's set up. So I know what I'm getting into. Okay, that is totally cool. Okay. Just gonna clean this up a bit. I've got some epoxy mixed up here. back in now. Now I need to Okay, so this is out of time to cure. And we're going to demold it. See how it came out. Just gonna pull that straight out. Okay. Let's get the tweezers and try to push this out. Either pull it out or So there's a thin layer of resin on top there. So that's kind of cool. It sort of acted like a two-part mold there, I guess. Okay, well, on a good news, these are, this is reusable. We just need to microwave it. And it should be reusable. Okay, so let's see if we can clean this up a little. I just went pleased with the thing. If you notice, right here, let's get some of the point with. Right there, we've got a big blob. Um, that's going to be very hard to get rid of. And we got a bit of cleanup to, that we need to do. But with it not coming out as well, we're going to give this a second try uh, in another video. Um, but I want to give these results out. Uh, so that you can see what I got, and then you can look forward to the next one uh, coming up shortly.